Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. In today's project, we are going to talk about uh, grid power grid synchronization uh, by detecting uh, by sensing frequency and voltage. If frequency or voltage is beyond the acceptable range, we will use indicator as a lamp as an indicator to show either frequency or voltage is out of range. And we are also using LCD display to display value of uh, voltage and frequency. This project has many applications. For example, you can use it in this project in grid tie inverter to check either uh, your uh, your solar power is in, synchroni in synchronization with the grid or not. So let's go to the circuit diagram. Here is the circuit diagram of this project. Uh, for example, this is the power we are getting from uh, this is the power supply of, of from a power grid, and uh, we are measuring voltage with the help of this circuit, and we are also measuring frequency with the help of built-in time of this pick microcontroller and this is the LCD we are displaying voltage and current on this L volt uh, sorry voltage and frequency on this LCD and we are using this 12 volt lamp as an indicator for example whenever voltage or frequency is beyond the acceptable range it will turn on and this it will show as an indicator that either there is issue with the system either frequency or uh, voltage is out of range so let's go to the simul simulation so as you can see, uh, we are using a uh, microcontroller, or uh, uh, this is a uh, this is a full bridge circuit which is used to convert negative half cycle into positive half cycle because we convert measure uh, negative voltage directly with the help of a uh, PIC microcontroller or any other microcontroller, and we are using this step down transformer to step down our voltages from uh, high voltages to low voltages, but uh, but for simulation purpose you can remove it, and I have. Uh, but when you make it uh, uh, this project practically you need to use this uh, 220 volt to 20, uh, 12 volt uh, step down transformer but in the simulation we are using it just as a symbol so here we are using this full bridge rectifier and after that we are using uh, this voltage divider because the voltage we are getting here is more than 5 volt and we cannot measure volt voltage more than 5 volt with the help of microcontroller and we are using we have interface relay with microcontroller through npn transistor uh, you can use any npn transistor bc459 uh, will work very well so so let's run the simulation as you can see right now we have voltage uh, for example let's set it to 17 volt why we are setting it 17 volt because 17 uh, we are assuming we have a uh, we do not have a transformer for example let's remove this uh, transformer uh, let's remove the transformer and make connection directly and we are assuming that this is the output of uh, this is the output of, for example we are assuming this simulation that this is the output of our step down transformer so now we uh, for example uh, if this is the output of our step uh, step down transformer then uh, we will be getting a output of uh, if input voltage is 12 uh, 220 volt so the output of step down transformer will be 12 volt so the amplitude that is rms voltage so the amplitude of this 12 volt will be 17 volt and for example frequency is 50 hertz so now let's run the simulation and you can see we are getting voltage equal to 20 volt and frequency is equal to uh, uh, at 50 hertz so frequency is 50 hertz and voltage 20 volt and i think uh, so uh, voltage is equal to 20 volt frequency is 50 hertz so there is no uh, so a lamp is off so no voltage is normal and frequency is also normal so now let's change the frequency for example if we change the frequency from 50 to 52 so now let's run the simulation as you can see voltage 219 and frequency is 52 as you can see normal uh, we are seeing normal is uh, voltage is normal and frequency is over frequency when the frequency is over frequency as you can see relay is on and lamp is also on and lamp is indicating that there is a problem with our system either frequency is high or uh, or uh, no, uh, voltage is high so we can check what uh, what parameter is uh, have wrong value we can check it from uh, lct 
now let's change the voltage for example we change the voltage to for example 25 so and make the frequency as normal the frequency is normal and 25 is higher uh, to, so with 25 volt we are getting 272 volt and frequency is 50 hertz so voltage is over voltage and, uh, and frequency normal frequency but still uh, the indicator shows there is uh, there is a problem with the system so lamp is on so this project is uh, into this project will uh, work with the over voltage under voltages and the normal frequency and the or over frequency or under frequency for example uh, the plating for example if the voltage is to, uh, input voltage is greater than 260 uh, then this lamp will be on if voltage is less than 180 then again this lamp will be on because it is under voltage if frequency is greater than 50 hertz again this lamp will be on if frequency is less than 50 hertz again this lamp, lamp will be on and because this is the indicator lamp so this project is about uh, power grid synchronization or uh, power grid synchronization failure system on sensing frequency and voltage so this is if you want to read more about the component of this project it goes to my website microcontrollerslab.com i have provided the link of this article in the description of this video and uh, i have also provided uh, working of this project in this article and if you want to purchase the code of this project they just go to the uh, description of this video and click on purchase click on purchase link thanks for watching this video.